Hi boys and girls, today I'm gonna to show you how to create your Mary Blair castle or the building inspired by her ride at uh, Disney called It's a Small World. What I have here is I have a piece of watercolor paper, I have a ruler, a pencil, and I have a Sharpie. You can absolutely use a regular piece of printer paper. I have that here as well. I'm just going to be doing a little bit more with watercolor on here, so that's why I chose this paper. So as you watch the video, you can decide which one you're going to make about um, with what supplies you have at home, okay? So let's get started. Basically how we get started is we're making a bunch of big rectangles. So I think you all can do that. If you don't have a ruler, you can just freehand it. It does not have to be with a ruler. Mary Blair did a lot of work that was pretty straight on, so that's why I'm using the ruler. So I'm just gonna make some big rectangles. Last week we did the James Rizzi City, so you might say, oh, this kind of looks familiar. So yeah, you can definitely pull from that. They don't have to be perfect. We have erasers. We're gonna be adding a lot of details to these. And again, if you want to be freehanding this the whole time, you don't need a ruler. It's absolutely fine. You want to make some different widths. That means that you want some to be very wide and larger. Maybe you want some to be a little bit taller and skinnier. So this one would be my taller and skinnier one. And we're going to put some rooftops on here. I'll add a couple more over here. So right now, I've just been drawing rectangles. So that's that's one way to get started, just draw rectangles. If you want to cut out paper and use a collage technique, you can. Think back on the Charlie Harper when we were cutting out the paper for the ladybugs. You can do the same thing for this. Cut out a bunch of tall, skinny, wide rectangles and start gluing them down to the paper. It's a good place to get started too. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna start doing some more freehand work just so I don't have to mess around with the ruler as much. When we talk about the rooftop, some are going to be curved like a half circle or semicircle. So that's kind of like the letter C. If you wanna turn your paper, you can make the letter C. That's, that's good for some of them. If you wanna do a triangle on the top, you can do a triangle. You can do double triangles, put more triangles on top of each other. You can put circles on top of half circles. You can make teardrop shapes. Play around with it, whatever um, inspired you from the Mary Blair pictures, you can add those in there. So right now I've just been using my shapes. I've been using my rectangles. I've been using triangles, half circles, circle, little triangles, and I made a teardrop shape. So right now we're all, all we're worried about are shapes. I'm gonna start breaking these up into other smaller rectangles. And you can do this again however you would like. You can make stripes if you want. Those, that's just a, another long rectangle. You can make patterns. So let me make a pattern. I'm gonna do diamond, line, diamond, line, diamond. Maybe you're learning about patterns. Put in any of your favorite patterns. That's great. Start thinking about any designs you wanna add, any of your favorite things you saw, or just follow along with what I'm doing. Um, think about anything that's your favorite shape. Maybe you love hearts. If you want to add a heart in there, add a heart in there. Hearts are one of my favorite shapes. Looking good. We might see more um, smaller circles and lines in here. So I'm going to go ahead and make what's going to look like a plus sign. And then I'm going to add little smaller circles on the end. 
then make another one over here. So it's a plus sign and little circles. And as always, I would like you to make sure that you have your cheetah feet on. I mean, I have my cheetah feet on. I want your cheetah feet to be off and your turtle shell on so you're working slowly. I'm gonna make an X. I'm gonna make an X. And I'm gonna make another plus. Looking good. Put some more rectangles over here. Split this one down the middle. Make some longer ones. See, those are smaller, those are longer. And I'm gonna start adding some more designs and more patterns in here. I'm gonna make an X in here. And when I made that X, I have four triangles. I'm gonna make another X over here. Four more triangles. I'm gonna do some circles. Now notice with the circles, I'm making sure to connect my circle. It's not a perfect circle, but it doesn't look like a six because I made sure to touch the ends. Not so much there, I probably should fix that a little bit. But if you're making a circle that looks like this, mm, that's not really a circle. And sometimes that happens when we have our cheetah feet on and our turtle shell is not on. So we wanna make sure that we're making circles. Again, as best as you can. Now we might see a certain flower in her work. It kind of looks like a tulip. This might be a little harder, but again, take your time and we'll get it. So I'm going to start showing you how to make the tulip. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm going to make a very wide letter U. Or like a smiley face, do you see it? big smiley face okay here comes the part that's a little trickier I'm gonna go from this side and I'm gonna come down at a little bit of a curve this side come down a little bit of a curve we're almost there if you want you can even make a little helper dot right in the middle and you're gonna curve from that dot down from that dot down and you have a tulip if you want to make a leaf sad face Happy face, sad face, Wah. happy face, wee, and now you have a tulip. You guys can do that. So just keep adding your designs. Look back on some of the pictures, come up with your own, and just keep going. And in a little bit, I will show you some more about how you can paint these and how you can color them. So this is step one.